Hello everyone, welcome back to Indiana Kayak Fishing Journal. The footage I have for you today is from Saturday, June the 4th. Kelly wanted to get out and do some fishing for some northern pike, so that's what we ended up doing. Um, it ended up being kind of a slow day. Um, Kelly caught one right out of the get-go, and then we had a couple of hours where we had no action whatsoever, and then all of a sudden, something else flipped, and like a switch flipped, and then we started seeing fish again. Kelly missed a few in a row, and then caught one, and then I caught one in the day. So we ended up actually only catching three pike in about four hours of effort, which is pretty tough for a day. Um, but we did see plenty of fish and had plenty of opportunities, just didn't capitalize on most of those. So before we dive into the video, what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit more in depth about the setup that I use to fish for northern pike because I was posting musky videos and I keep getting asked about my northern pike setup. So let me just show you the rod and reel I'm using, the line, and then the lures that I'm using to catch these fish so that you guys have a little bit of an insight into how I'm catching these fish and the gear that I'm using. So the rod that I'm using is a St. Croix Premier. It is a seven foot medium heavy power fast action rod. I have that paired with a Daiwa Ballistic 2500 series spinning reel. I have that spooled with 40 pound braided line. The heavier braided line is nice. That way I can haul pike out of wood, weeds, all the stuff that they tend to get into while you're fishing for them in rivers. And then also it makes it a nicer setup where I don't feel undergunned when I'm using this setup to cast four muskies because muskies can get really big and you could randomly luck into a giant fish. And if you were lighter than this, I'd be really worried about a break off or just get man manhandled by a big muskie. So like I said, 40 pound braided line on there. And then I have a premium swivel tied in there. I believe this is 120 pound rated swivel. And then I've got 80 pound fluorocarbon tied in there. I tie this leader myself. Um, I usually try to keep it to about 14 inches from the swivel um, to a snap. And then I have a premium snap on the end of that that I used to attach lures. I get most of these uh, materials, the snap and the swivel, from a place called Stealth Tackle. They specialize in pike and muskie leaders, um, so, so that's a perfect place to buy that stuff from. So that's my rod and reel setup. Like I said, St. Croix, medium heavy power, fast action rod, a 2500 Daiwa Ballistic Series reel, 40 pound braided line, down to a premium swivel, 80 pound fluorocarbon, and then to a snap. Now, my number one go-to lure for fishing rivers in the summer is a double-bladed spinnerbait. So I actually uh, make these by hand out of heavy gauge wire. Um, that way they don't get bent out by pike or muskies. Um, double willow leaf blades. I like to mix and match colors, so I usually have a copper blade and then a silver blade on them. Um, it makes the spinnerbait a little more versatile for different colors of water. Um, and then I buy these skirts. So I bend this up, tie this up put these skirts on it, and then I generally either have one big hook or two smaller hooks, um, a, you know, a normal sized hook and then a trailer hook on there. Now what you want with a hook is you want that hook to be clear at the back of the uh, skirt, that way a short striking fish will still get hooked because these fish tend to like swipe at the blades or tend to go for the back of the lure. And if you have a hook at the very, very back of it, you're gonna have more success hooking up. So that's my number one lure for fishing rivers for pike, muskies, anything like that is the double, big double bladed spinner bait. My second favorite lure is either a Rapala X-Wrap or this newcomer, the J13 from Rapala. I've been using this to great effect um, over the course of the last year or so. Um, this lure is great, it's got jointed action and it has just a ton of action, it really calls these fish in. If you use these two lures, it's kind of like a one-two punch, um, you can't go wrong. You know, usually I'll have Kelly throwing the spinner bait and then I'll have this tied on for me as kind of a follow-up lure. If she has a, a follow or a sees a pike, I can always throw this back in there and have success a lot of times like I did in this video that you're gonna see. So that's uh, some of my recommendations for setup and then for lures. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Side of the wood, like straight ahead of us right here before we get there. That looked pretty good. It was like deep and not a lot of current. I thought that looked really good. Oh, he Did he? Still there. No, he's still there. What are you doing? <laughs> Coming right at. Wow, he's mad. It's all wrapped up too. Bring him my way. We got another pike. Long last. 
Not a big one, but we'll take it. And then today, we will take it. It's barely hooked. I told you it looked really good yeah, along there. I'm like, man, that looked so good. I can't believe we didn't catch one. I think it was just the time of day or something. I don't, I don't know, maybe. Kind of strange, but this guy is fired up. Yep. Do not hurt me. Do no, come on. Yeah. It's not huge, but look at the teeth of that thing. It's spicy. Can you see those teeth? Yeah. He's got some big canines. Yeah. He's a mean looking fish for being so small. Let's let him go. Nice fish. All right, sweet. Yay! <laughs> Two Kind of gets deeper as it goes around the corner. Yeah. Was it a pike? I think so. Okay, well, let me get a cast in there. Oh, you can go again. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I want to catch him. All right, you get it. There he is, right there. Oh, it's a good fish. Here it comes. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> that was crazy, right? <laughs> yep, I see it. Oh, that is a nice one. I caught a fish. Am I filming? Yeah. Yes. Because <laughs> that was freaking awesome eat. <laughs> yeah. Bug, get off me. Get off me. What is happening? There we go. He's not huge, but that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice one. The biggest one we've caught all day. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's not hooked bad at all either. Beauty. Come oh. on, oh, dude. I know you want to go, but just want a little bit of... Pretty. Very pretty fish. He's got nice colors. Mm -hmm. A lot of red on him. Good fish. It's probably high 20s. All right, go, dude. See you later. Thank you. All right, well, that's going to do it for the video today. Kind of a short one. Like I said, we landed three pike over the course of the day. Um, one of them, for some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble with my camera. Um, it's overheating and then giving me some errors when it's really, really warm out. So I've got to work through some errors and some um, camera issues. But like I said, I caught that that one, didn't get it on video, and then we got the two on video towards the end of the day. Um, so it ended up being an okay day. We caught a couple of fish. Not as many as we would have liked to, but that's just how fishing goes. You just got to stick with it sometimes and keep trying, and eventually you're going to catch some fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, shares these videos. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.